Shalom, shalom. <coughs> Just want to give all praise. This is Allah and glory on the Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yerushai. Ba'ashem Shalom Yerushai. Double and as unto the Elazad Great Millstone. Salutation unto the Archeum. Pushing this wood. Salutation unto the Archeum. Pushing this wood in sincerity and truth. Shalom unto the Akkad being obedient unto the husband and taking heed of this wood. This is your brother again, Brother Yassad from the Trinidad GMS Prophetic Vibration Camp. Came to bring another lesson here. I hope this lesson here can be edifying unto the elect. So today, this video will be about knowing the name of the Lord. Because we know in time, soon in time to come, that... It's only true, Yahweh Ba Hashem and Hashai, we can be saved. Because through the Spirit, as our brother keep continuously, us mm -hmm. having a dream that anytime chariot come for salvation, he had to say something. But he knew that that something was, was in Hebrew. Right? And, and we believe it could be the name of the... Of the the most high and, and his son you know so let me go into the book of proverbs i'm going to the book of proverbs yes. yeah because this knowledge here right now we at limited time to the spirit all our all of the brothers feel that we are at limited time so now is the time to gain this knowledge here before it all locked away because the prophecy in um, Amos chapter 8 and 11 they are going on soon be fulfilled mm. so this is the book of Proverbs chapter 30 and 4 it says who had ascended up into heaven or descended who had gathered the winds in his fist who had bound the waters in a garment who had established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell yeah because this is a question here you know and 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 we know that they will ignorantly call Yahushai, jesus christ but lo and behold in that day they call upon jesus christ that that wouldn't help them hmm. That wouldn't help them because that is actually just an idol. See that boy here, them just praying upon. Hmm. And and practically, let me go into um, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and 9. Good, that just heard it. Yeah, because even near Haushai and the disciples, they spoke what they spoke Hebrew. Hmm. Um. Uh, let, let me get this um, push up here. This is book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. You know, and 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 the, 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 the pure languages was the languages from the beginning, which was the Hebrew, the Latin, and the Greek. Because when you go into in English context and you go down into the root words of words. They go go straight back to the Greek, or some might go back to the Hebrew. You know, some might go back to Latin. Yeah, but that pure language that 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 that, that was given from our forefathers on down is Hebrew. Mm. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve Him with one consent. So just as we see how mm. all the brothers does does. Let's, let's give up praises unto the Mosai that is being Hebrew. Kal Halaliam Yahawaba Shem Yahushai, which is all praises to the Mosai in the name of the Son. You know? So we all, we had to know this. It's the name of the Lord is a strong tower. So let me, let me go into Acts. Sure, not even yeah, how shy and even the disciples they, they spoke Hebrew 
Emagu, Magadis, ah, Boku, this is the Magadis one in Kuntian Sus. So, okay. This is book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11. <coughs> Mm. 11 and verse 22. Let's see, are they Hebrews? Because this here is Paul speaking here. Right? And and saying unto, unto the people, right? Which were the. Which were referring unto, unto Israel. Right? Because you are saying unto them, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Right? So that, that relating to all you um, Negroes, Black Americans, Hispanics, Latinos, you know, to, to all the, the, the 12 tribes. You know, that relating to you, Israel. Hmm. And sure, you know, well, hey, this, this gospel and this word here is only pertaining to we. Mm. Mm. Who are the Israelites? Are you a and four? You know, to whom um, obtained the adoption and the and the covenant. Well, let me get a scripture very quickly. Yeah. Right, Romans chapter nine and four. It says, Who are the Israelites? To whom pertained the adoption and the glory, you know, and the covenant, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh, and the promises. Yeah, and and, and the adoption meaning this being given down, because we was given this year in a promise from the Musa himself, you know, and the glory, we all know is the glory, the glory is the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. And the covenants is, is all are the ordinances we ought to keep. Yeah. Because it say um not one jot nor tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Yeah. So it all going back to keeping the law's statutes and commandments. And the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Because that service of, of the Mosai is by we you know, having the duty as as watchmen on unto the house of Israel and waking up with people. Hmm. They the they the whole service of the Mosai. And keeping Lord's such and commandment and being a, a walking pilgrim. So let me go back to the book of Acts. You know showing that, that even Yahweh Shai he he spoke Hebrew. Hmm. Hmm. Acts chapter 26 and verse 14. Um, yeah, I will start at verse 13. Because this year is when Yahweh had already given up the spirit as, uh, as well. Let's see, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them. Which which do you need with me? Look, I, I believe this year was Paul as well, yeah. Because this year was Paul with, with Yahweh Shai revealing himself unto him as an angel. It says, And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. This year is just a proof to you that, that, that the tongues of the mm. angels. Is a Hebrew tongue. It's saying, um, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. Hmm. Yeah. So that to just show you that the Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew Israelite. When he even go to, um, Revelation 22 and I believe I believe it's 16 um, it say 
I, Yahweh Shai, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And David was whom? That was King Solomon's father. You know, David was King David himself. He was of the tribe of Judah. Thou, thou make even your house shy of the tribe of Judah as well. We're going to the... <coughs> so, so we, even, oh, all right, I had to say, to show you even in the, the other one, Palal, which is the, the Lord's Prayer, right? As, as we can know it as the Our Father Prayer, right? You even get the Mosai name both in Hebrew in this as well. I will just read out up to Yahweh. It's it's a Abanawa Shabashamayam Kwadash Haya Shamka Yahweh. We say our Father which in heaven, holy be your name, Yah Yahweh. What you tell him as you mean, Yahweh, because the Hebrew alphabetical. That is just to show you that the, the name of Jehovah and Jesus, they are just made up. That was just whitewashed. You know. Now I would say in, um, in Job 9 and 24, that I did the faces of the judges thereof. You know, so all of that, all of that is the crafty and cunningness that he saw. He done the so-called white man. Yeah, but, you know, so, um... Yeah, the, the alphabet, right? The, the Hebrew alphabet goes like this. A, ba, ga, da. Ha, wa, za, ka. Um, ta, ya, ka, la. Um, ma, na, sa, ai. Pa, ta, za, kwa. And ra, sha, tha. You didn't get no pronunciation, I know. Mm -hmm. Hebrew alphabetical. Hmm. Yeah, 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 again, the understanding, as they say. So, um, I'm not going to the book of uh, Acts, good, so like, yeah. um, Acts chapter 4 and 12. It see, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Hmm. And this pre this piece up here hit nail on the head. Eh? I'll read it again. Let's see. Hmm. Neither is there salvation in any, in, in any other in any other. For there is none other name under heaven. Right? given among men whereby we must be saved so that, that is why the name of the Lord is very important mm. because this actually is the, is the power of Israel mm. yeah. so all who go in and you see when the, the, the perilous times come right now it's just the beginning of, of, of Jacob's trouble as we see but like the video the, the, the news who had taken the, the um the vaccine and get ball spatsy ball spatsy or or so forth you know where it, it, it seems as she face was paralyzed and that right is that right they could even be going back to revelation or with with saw come upon them mm. it'll give you a saw but that right is not no no Nothing to the Lord going and, and do to the ones that had taken the mark of the beast. You know, but that is just a vaccine. So you could imagine how, how bad the RFID microchip would have going and bring forth in time to come. Going and be. Hmm. Yeah, but, but, but through, through the spirit, we urge everyone not to take that RFID microchip or even the vaccine. Because within the vaccine itself, it a, it a, that right is just you signing your death warrant, boy. 
taking that vaccine because I show you, you you don't trust in the Alba Shemir, you trust in this system, you trust in this broken reed. Hmm. And that right they could be, you kind your own self to, to destruction. Day. Hmm. I'll bring out. Um. Chapter 14 and 9. Mm. Yeah, because <coughs> a lot of I think what we people lack is the lack of knowledge and, 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 and they're not really researching. Everybody does want to obtain a certain knowledge of physiology which was brought about by the so-called white man and they feel they know it all but when they really do examine the self according to the scripture they can realize well they're, they're going off hmm. yeah and and the thing about the three people they, they, like, they like darkness rather than light so that's why you don't put yourself in position to not hear this word because this word here is it is rebuke sharply you know? this word here is rebuke sharply hmm. um, Zechariah chapter 14 and 9 it says and the Lord shall be king over all the earth right I'm going to read it over again and Yahweh shall be king over all the earth in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one yeah so that just to show you eternal other names like Yahweh um like Jesus and and Christ bless and Allah and 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 Mother Lord me and all those those are just idols they are nothing compared to the Musa himself you know they were to um the Musa and the farm is all the all the gods are the earth all of those idol gods hmm yeah because I was watching a video uh, I believe a flood yeah a flood I think that was in what that was in India that a flood and these people them put the statue up on the backs and walking them out of it and walking them out of, out of the out of the flood hmm. when it was supposed to be the other way around by by them being delivered by that but but i just to show you you know those things you hear those things you feel those things you walk these just idols hmm. Yeah, cause, cause when those, when those, you see, we believe to the spirit that next year it's not going to be nice. All who want to be caught up in that delusion and think or think they'll be better off next year and all those things. You've seen it from, me, from yourself, for your own self. From the years that go by, things just had gotten worse and worse. Hmm. This system here just crumbling bit by bit. Hmm. I'm going to bring out the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Go Isaiah 44, verse 6. Let me get out of here quick. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 6 it said thus saith Yahweh the king of Israel and his redeemer the Lord of hosts right so the man read it over it said thus saith Yahweh the king of Israel and the redeemer Yahweh Shai of hosts I am the first I am the last and besides me there is no God hmm there is no God beside you, how about Hashem and Shai? And a lot of people, they, they just want to be ignorant of that. They don't want to hear that. Hmm. 
because somebody feels the the um the great great grandmother grandmother she lived long and she was calling upon Jesus right they want to think well they could call upon Jesus too but not knowing that that they were all being deceived hmm. they were all just in a state of slumber and right now right now is, is a bit into the marriage right now and all who just I, I get this though just end up like the man that that came to the marriage without the wedding garment and what was done unto him he was cast out into utter darkness hmm yeah and, and we don't want to be like that we don't want to end up in that situation hmm. so let me just close off for this last piece up here the book of Surak um, chapter 2 and 10 let's see look um, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did ever despise uh, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him yeah go on you check back from 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 even Moses right the great I am I am which is um, he exists and in, in Hebrew is Yahweh, you know, all of them that call upon the, the name of the Lord and had faith, right, and being justified by the works, none of them was confounded, the, the Mosai even delivered his people Israel out of, out of the, um, the bondage that I was given to serve from Pharaoh, hmm. And and uh, we back in this bondage again, chewy chewy sins. Uh, but the Lord, the Lord coming with mercy again. They to show you the love. Yeah, how about show me how shy half a week? He come back with mercy again by 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 bringing out we the 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 men of the Lord right now typing Moses again as being a messenger from the Lord, which which Moses as well was a prophet. I've been a prophet of the Lord, you know, warning and, and guiding the people. Hmm. Because without without the prophets or without Moses, the people could have never come out of the bondage that was in. Hmm. So that's just how it is. Because through the prophets, the 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 most I could get the message to pass on. Right? Showing you how to prepare yourself and how to come back onto your heritage mm. and so forth with this, with this gospel and with this knowledge. Mm. Yeah, so before the time is too late, we all take heed of this word. Because going and be, well, just as it's seen in Wisdom of Solomon um, 5 and for one go down, you know, these people, them, they will be ashamed and confounded to see that that the um that these madmen were, were, were um were saints for the Lord. It just roughly paraphrasing because when we go out in the streets and the houses and byways and you know preaching these words and, and showing unto the people and what they is do they scoff and they doesn't give a a air. Hmm. They doesn't give a air but that idea just going back onto the ones that the Lord having a deep slumber to the wickedness. Mm. Eventually the Lord could just, you know, cut them off. Mm. Because how long you gonna be in your simplicity and you know just want to be a part of this evil system. Hmm. It's not nice. Right now is the time to, to get back onto your heritage and know the Lord. Yeah, all well, of that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh of Hashem Yahushai. And shalom unto the brothers. I hope this lesson was edifying.